ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾನಿ ನಾಮಿ ಕೌಣಿ ವಿಖ್ಯಾತ ಮಹಾತ್ಮನ ಋಷಿಭಿ ಪರಿಗೀತ ತಾನಿ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಭೂತೇ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಅಟೇನ್ ದಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಗೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಐ ಶೆಲ್ ನೌ ಚಾಂಡ್ ದ ಲಿಬರೇಟೆಡ್ ಹೋಲಿ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು great sages glorify these holy names which describe the lord's transcendental qualities and pastimes shila baldev vidya bhushan notes that lord krishna is the supreme personality of god and although he appears in a multitude of forms just as vaidurya stones vaidurya stone remains single gem although it appears to change colors the gopal tapani upanishad gopal tapani upanishad explains eko vasi sarva sarvagah krishna idya eko pi san bahud bahudhayo vabhati lord krishna is the omnipotent all pervading worshipable supreme personality of godhead although he is one he is he has many tested in many forms the shrimad bhagavatam 1.3.28 explains this is a very famous shloka ete cha amsa kala pumsam krishna astu bhagwan swayam all of the above mentioned incarnations are either plenary portions or portions of the plenary portions of the lord but lord shri krishna is the original personality of god in shila baldev vidya bhushan says manifesting in innumerable forms the lord sometimes displays all of his potencies and sometimes he displays only a part of his potencies appearing as lord narayan he displays all his potencies appearing in his kala partial expansions he reveals only a part of his potency he appears as lord vasudev who has no contact with the material world and again he appears as sankarshan pradyumna and anirudh he appears as karana dakshai vishnu garbo dakshai vishnu and chiro dakshai vishnu who are completely spiritual manifestations free from any trace of matter and who are known as the purusha avatars from garbo dakshai vishnu lord kurma and all other leela avatars past time incarnations as well as the manvantara avatars incarnations during the period of manu and yuga avatar incarnations of the millennium appear all these incarnations are glorified in the verses of the puranas conscious that lord krishna is the original form from whom the other forms of the personality of god it emanate bhishma now describes the holy names that describe lord krishna's various form and past times all right welcome back to exotic astrology so we are here with the next verse of the vishnu sasnam so in the previous verse we discussed tasya loka pradhanasya jagannathasya bhupate vishnu nama sahasram me shrunu papa bhayapaham please hear from me the 1000 holy names of lord vishnu the supreme master and controller of the universe these holy names of the lord destroy the fearful reactions of past sinful deeds and in today's verse bhishma pitama is telling in order to attain the supreme goal of life i shall now chant the celebrated holy names of lord vishnu great sages glorify these holy names which describe the lord's transcendental qualities and past times in order to attain the supreme goal of life i shall now chant the celebrated holy names of lord vishnu why does it say in order to attain the supreme goal of life why does it say this well this is because the holy name of krishna is considered to be non different from krishna himself nama chintamani krishna's chaitanya rasa vigraha that abhinnatva um, nama nam you know that shloka which we had discussed earlier it's there in this playlist okay so that shloka says that nama chintamani krishna's chaitanya rasa vigra which means the name of krishna is non different from krishna himself so 
suppose there's a big politician or a you know, film star you chant his or her name but that name and that person is different right but in case of krishna it is not like this so when you say the word krishna it is like you are literally invoking the presence of that person which means that name can do all the things which that person can do now you may think oh but okay i chant krishna 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 like this but i don't see him appearing right well um, that is because we have not reached the level of shuddhana so there are different stages of chanting so for example there is nama prad there is then there is nama bhas then there is shuddhana so currently we are all at the beginner stage we are at nama prad stage so we are chanting uh, krishna's name but we do not have faith mm -hmm. or we do not have interest we do not have desire we do not have taste okay so uh, during that shuddha nam uh, unless you reach shuddha nam which is a state when you are chanting purely till that time you cannot realize this but once we reach shuddha nam then we will realize so <clears throat> therefore now uh, you may think the okay so the name is not different from krishna or why does he say in order to attain the supreme goal of life i shall now chant the celebrated names of lord vishnu so why why does he say that so you have to understand that in kaliyuga the name uh, the holy name of god that is the uh, most that is the yuga dharma for kaliyuga yuga dharma means every yuga has a particular process uh, by which you obtain spiritual perfection in kali yuga like these four yugas are there you know kali yuga is there dwapar yuga teta yuga satyu so in kali yuga the way you obtain spiritual perfection is by chanting god's names so therefore in kali yuga it is very essential that this is our first priority chanting the names of god so chanting the names of god is known as kirtan kirtan means um, spreading the kirti of somebody kirti means glory so greatness so when you are chanting uh, so there are two types of kirtan actually so one is the soft one which we do and one is which which is without any tune so suppose i chant like this om namo bhagavate vasudevaya so what we are doing in this mantra is we are paying respects to lord vasudev om namo means i am paying respects namaskar bhagavate bhagavan vasudevaya lord vasudev who is the son of vasudev is krishna himself so in this i am submitting myself my false ego in front of lord krishna so when you see in this world nobody will submit uh, to anybody yes but when we say speak this mantra what we are doing is we are submitting in front of him why because he is the supreme master he is the cause of all causes as the brahma samhita says you know sarva karana karanam so therefore when we are submitting ourselves to him then what happens is we understand who we are because that is the original constitutional position of living beings to be a servant of god that is what the scriptures say so when we are chanting these names we actually realize who we are so currently we have different designations i am a male i am a female i am 20 years old i am 30 years old you no know, i am indian i am american i am german i am british i am hindu i am muslim whoever but these are not our original identities these identities keep changing as per our karma so for example today i am born in a male's body tomorrow i may be born in a female's body <laughs> tomorrow today i am in a human body tomorrow i may be in a dog's body in a cat's body in an elephant's body in a snake's body in a eagle's body or in a worm's body i may be anywhere in my next life depending on my karma of my past lives and this life so therefore the thing is these are not our see these are bodies actually but 
Uh, Krishna says in Gita, no, we are not this body, we are spirit soul actually. So it means we are different from the body. We, when we say we, it means I am a person, I am a spiritual being who is inside this body currently. Okay. So how do we realize who we are originally? That is when we chant the names of Lord Vishnu. Then we are connecting to our original source, our original father. So when we are doing that, then we are gradually going to uh, the, the Paramatma inside our heart will reveal the uh, reveal our inner identity, who we are actually in the spiritual world. So that is the most important um, that is the most important uh, principle of this verse. Okay. Great sages glorify these names which describe the Lord's transcendental qualities and pastimes. So where 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 does this come again? So if you read the Bhagavad Gita after Arjuna has seen the Virat Roop of Krishna, where he has shown all the manifestations of you know life and death and all this. So Arjuna says, you know, very beautiful shloka. Param Brahma, Param Dhamma, Pavitram, Param Bhavan, Purusham, Shashvatam, Divyam, Adi Devamajam, Vibhum. Then he says, Ahustvam Rishaya Sarve, Deva Sinara Dastatha, Asito Deva Lovyaso, Swayam Chaiva Bravishime. Ahustvam Rishaya Sarve, Deva Sinara Dastatha. So these are all different sages, you know, Narad Muni, Asita, Devala. Okay. Then he says, Swayam Chaiva Bravishime. And he also says Vyasdev. So he says all these great sages, including Vyasdev. And then at the end he says, Swayam Chaiva Bravishime means you yourself are also telling that you are the Supreme Personality of God. So this same thing uh, is there in the Bhagavad Gita also. So Arjuna is quoting reference of different sages, you know, Asita, Devala, Vyasa and all this. Narag, of course. So, great sages glorify these holy names. One example is of Valmiki. You know? Valmiki was the, he's the author of the Ramayana, as you all know. So, he was instructed to uh, write this actually, the Ramayana, by Lord Brahma. And on Lord Brahma's instruction, and by the grace of Narad Muni, his guru, uh, Valmiki had written this, the Ramayana. So, uh, Valmiki was so sinful before that he could not chant the name of Ram. So Narad Muni being very expert, he said, you chant the opposite. You chant Mara, 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 Mara like this. So when you keep chanting Mara, 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 then you eventually start chanting Ram, 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 Ram. So very interesting though that just not even chanting the name directly, it's like the reverse. Valmiki obtained spiritual perfection. Of course, he's already a great personality. But I'm seeing how he got transformed into what he is known for. Okay. So it's so therefore, if we also want that uh, we uh, obtain the perfection of human life, then we should actually uh, make the chanting and I say as I forgot to say there are two types of kirtan one is when we chant uh, and other one is when we sing actually you know like uh, we can chant different tunes of different mantras you know so that is generally known as kirtan but if you are chanting mantras that is also kirtan okay japa is also like kirtan only it is a part of kirtan actually so so there are different shlokas which are mentioned here and the most famous is this in 1.3.28 First canto, third chapter, twenty-eight verse of Shrimad Bhagavatam. Eteh cha am sakala pum sam Krishna stu Bhagwan swam. So there are there are different kinds of expansions, you know, prabhav and I mean I won't go to that in detail here. There is kalas, there is swamshas, vibhinamshas. Okay, so one kind of expansion is where Krishna identically expands as as it is as he is into multiple forms. All forms are identical; they are all powerful. The other form is uh, where he expands into different forms, but slightly different. The qualities are different. The color is different. One such expansion is Lord Balram. And then there's mention of so many different uh, things here, like, you know, kalas. That's why this shloka says, Etech amsa kala pumsa. 
the above, all the above mentioned incarnations are either plenary portions or portions of the plenary portions of the Lord. But Krishna is like the source of all of them, right? So there, there's a discussion of different avatars here. There's six kind of avatars, you know, there is, let me see if I can recall. There is a Lila avatar, then there is Guna avatar, then there is Purusha avatar, then there is Manvantara avatar. Mm -hmm. And there is Yuga avatar, and there's one more, which I'm not able to recall. Purusha avatar, Guna avatar, Lila avatar. Ah, I forget sometimes. <laughs> And Shakti Avesh Avatar, yes, six kind of avatars. So we shall discuss about them some other time. But today's video is to emphasize on this fact that we should make chanting of our mantras daily practice. Every morning we should chant mantras and in the evening we should sing them. Okay. So you can uh, Google on YouTube, Google or search in YouTube uh, about different mantras and all this. You know, so you can also include them in your daily life. So when you do that, then you will see that you are gradually uh, becoming more and more well-versed with uh, going ahead in your spiritual life. Okay, Because then the Paramatma himself guides you from within. And by that, you will obtain the uh, perfection of human life. All right. It will take time. Easier said than done. But this is how we have to approach. Okay. Thank you very much for your patience. And if you have not watched the other videos in this playlist, then please watch them. And if you want the Bhagavad Gita or Srimad Bhagavatam videos, I'll put it here. And if you want a consultation, please go to my website down below. Okay. What is there with you all the time? Just look to him and you'll find it.